and we will start with those electrical system items that may be susceptible to a direct lightning strike, which of course means they are found on the exterior of the home. The meter mast and the weather head are the highest points of the system and are sure targets for lightning strikes. The meter base, which in some areas is referred to as the meter socket or even the meter can, is also on the outside of the home and could get hit by lightning as well. If the house does not have a meter mast to protect the service entrance wiring, then it would be exposed like we see here. This type of wire that is designed for exterior installation is called trunk line, and this installation method is common and does put that wire at higher risk of getting hit by lightning. And what about the main breaker panel? Generally, we would think no to a direct hit by lightning, but in cases like this, you see here, if the main panel is installed on the outside of the home, then it surely could become a target. In some areas over the past 15 years, they started installing more panels outside for a few reasons, including putting the risk of fire outside and to make it easier and quicker for emergency personnel to access and turn off the panel in case of an emergency situation. Now we'll take a look at a few of those other components that are parts of the electrical system, but since they are inside the home, will not be likely to get hit by lightning directly, but do get damaged by surge in many cases. And of course, the electrical panel and related circuit breakers top the list when we have electrical damage inside the home. The challenge with these types of claims is that you as an adjuster really have no way to even look inside the panel for damages since it's just too dangerous to do so. An electrician will be needed to evaluate damages to most electrical system components. And then we have all that wiring throughout the home, most of which is probably hidden in the walls, ceiling, and floors. Wiring is not damaged as often as you might think, but if you do suspect damage to the wiring, we should start small and work our way up in regard to testing. Don't jump right to MEG or MEGER testing, which is very expensive. Only test the wire's insulation, not the wires themselves, and has associated risks. Many times we can pinpoint actual wire damage with a tracer test, which can be completed with less expensive equipment. Outlets, which are also sometimes referred to as receptacles, and switches are also at risk when we have a surge event. The good news is that they are easily checked with the right tools and easily replaced if they're damaged. Most are simple devices and very affordable, but don't forget about those more specialized ones like dimmers and even smart home switches. And our last category of electrical items are fixtures, which could include any number of types of lights like we mentioned earlier, and those ceiling fans as well. 